Well, joining me now is uh, Neil Ashton from The Daily Mail and The Guardian's chief sports correspondent, Owen Gibson, both been up very late into the night after this massive story for you both. Um, he says it's the right time, Neil, to go. Do you agree with him? Yeah, you can't forget that Alex Ferguson, can't forget his age, for, for one. He's done everything he wanted to achieve, not only as manager of Aberdeen, but also with Manchester United. He's just won his 13th Premier League title. What else he got? What are the challenges left for a 71-year-old man who's done everything that he's wanted to achieve with one of the world's biggest football clubs? Perhaps he wanted more European Cups. He's always said that he didn't win the Champions League enough. He's won it twice with Manchester United. He lost it twice in 2009, 2011 against Barcelona. But perhaps... That was perhaps the, the one thing missing from his Manchester United CV, winning Champions League after Champions League. But he won it twice. Uh, and where does he rank, according to you, Owen? The greatest manager ever? Well, he's what certainly the most successful British manager of all time. And the, the debate will rage on, won't it? You know, over Paisley, Shankly and so on. But of the modern era, the Premier League era, I think he's undoubtedly the greatest. And, you know, Richard Scudamore from the Premier League said today that he sort of really came to embody the Premier League and the, and the Premier League wouldn't be the same without Manchester United and it certainly wouldn't be the same without Alex Ferguson and, you know, kind of... He's, he's the one person who's probably made the most difference the last 20 years, I think, in, in English football. You think he's, he's managed over four decades as well, from when he took the job mm. back in the mid-80s, through the 90s, 2000, into 2013. To manage over four decades, to, to the way that football has changed, he's managed into the Premier League era, into the Champions, the new format of the Champions League compared to the European Cup in the past. You what look at those it? old pictures, you know, of his first match against Oxford and, you know, it does just seem like a world away. And the coach I mean, driver was on the bench exactly. as well. <laughs> what made him so special? I mean, what drove him? Because we know about his background, don't mm. we? You know about him being brought up in well, I think Govern, in Glasgow. Has that got something to do with absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, there's that grit and that drive. But I think his, his ability to, to man and manage, even in an era of kind of, you know, huge salaries and, and player power, he still had the ability to, to mould a team and not only to, to make one team, but to dismantle the team and, and renew it before it was it's time to to be renewed if you like you know he, he could always do that dismantle one team and make another one and yeah. we've got lots of um twitters or tweets coming in <laughs> i should say jonathan says fergie is the greatest manager ever no one's going to replace him it's going to be very hard isn't it whoever comes up the job Absolutely. and we think it might be david moyes is that yeah right? the, and the expectations will be huge because this is the ma next manager of Manchester United and Sir Alex Ferguson is leaving a team that's just won but the Premier not, League. And he's not leaving. He's going to be in the background, mm. isn't he, as the yeah, director? Yeah, that's right. He's still going to be a director. But I think that's, that's going to be important for the development of David Moyes as the Manchester United manager. Having someone, a friend, because they are very, very mm. close off the field as well. They've, they've struck up a relationship over the last few years. But also the professionalism. And this is... Manchester United is Sir Alex Ferguson's club. But David Moyes will be able to lean on Ferguson for some, for some crucial professional advice in the years to come. And you can see that working in a way that perhaps a, a Jose Mourinho or, or another relationship wouldn't work. I think Ferguson and Moyes yeah. will work in that way. But Moyes hasn't had that European experience and that will be really key. Great in press conferences. Are you going to miss the hairdryer moments? Yeah, well, I've had one of them myself oh, as well. What so, happened? Yeah, well, he banned me from Carrington Manchester United's training ground for about two years. So um, I've only just been allowed back in. But of course, it's too late now because... Was it frightening? Why did he ban you? Um, he banned me over a story I wrote for my previous newspaper about Manchester United spending, and he was very upset at the time. But um, these things happen, and this is kind of a, a professional hazard. Right of passage, yeah. and I think yeah, he's a one off in that sense as well. I mean, I don't think another manager will ever exert that much control will over a major football club. I think we'll all miss him, you know, but um, we perhaps won't miss those, uh, those hairdryer moments, as you say. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for joining us tonight.